Hi, Amelia. I'm Doug Mosier. Hi, Doug. Pleasure nice, to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Thank too. You. This is the first time I've been here at uh, the Strange Brew. Welcome. Um, I will, I'll tell you one thing. I can smell the coffee right now. It's beautiful, man. I love the smell of coffee. So tell us about your coffee. So how many do you have? What so you have? we have a lot of different selections. We have your basic uh, drip coffee, mm -hmm. and we have that in a medium roast, a dark roast, a couple different flavors, and we also have our espresso beans. And all of that comes from Java Joe's Roasting Company which are a local company. We have a great relationship with them. They've been around for years. Let's talk about some of the specialties. What are some of the things that Strange Brew offers? Sure. Um, so we have a variety of different things. We have a huge breakfast selection, omelets, um, sandwiches, um, little odds and ends, like fruit parfaits, and we have pastries, we have mac and cheeses, we have sandwiches, salads, soups, and for lunch special, we actually offer a lunch combo. So you get a cup of soup, it's a special of the day, and then you can also choose a half a salad or half a sandwich. That seems to be pretty popular around here. And if uh, there are people that are uh, maybe busy and they just want to call ahead and order, maybe stop and pick up, do you do, you do takeout orders as oh, well? Oh, absolutely. Um, we just ask that people call a little bit ahead. And we also, aside from that, we also do delivery. We are, we do mostly the downtown area, but um, there's a $10 minimum and we find that more and more people are getting used to this idea. So we've been getting a lot more busy on that side of things. Well, it's nice to see businesses like Strange Brew here. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, there were so many businesses in downtown. And it's, it's really nice to see all the different businesses coming back to Binghamton, and especially places like this, too. So we're going to meet the cook? We are going to meet the cook. We're going to meet the cook. We're going to meet the cook. We're going to go back and meet the cook. Hey, how you doing? I'm Doug Moocher. Hey, my name is Chef Jason. Nice to meet Chef you. Chef Jason, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Permission to come aboard your kitchen, sir? Permission granted. Let's, uh, right. let's come over here and see what we got going in the works. Very cool. Um, we're going to be making a Spanish omelet today. Hola. With, um, uh, with our uh, breakfast potatoes. So, the first thing you want to do is whisk your eggs up. And because the breakfast potatoes take, take longer to cook, than the eggs do. We're gonna put these in now. Just drop them right in and get nice and happy. Give them a pinch of our seasoning. I tell you what's in it, but uh, I don't think I'm allowed. So I'm gonna grab our, uh, grab our eggs, give it another real quick mix for a good measure. Grab your spatula and you pour your eggs into the pan. Now, while it's working, you're gonna move your pan back and forth and scramble it in the pan. Perfect. Then, right about here, you can kill your heat because we're going to be putting it in the oven to finish it, just like other traditional omelets. So our Spanish omelet gets um, roasted red peppers, it gets manchego cheese, and some uh, green olives, and then, Pop it right in the oven. So then while that's finishing, we're going to add our, uh, this comes with uh, peppers and onions. So if we added these when we first put them in the pan, they would burn to a crisp and nobody likes burned onions. So we're just gonna throw them in like that. Now we wait, probably about, mm, I don't know, I would say a minute and a half, two minutes is enough to cook an omelet in the oven depending on how many eggs you use. So let's, uh, let's take a look. And that is perfect. It's still kind of got a little bit of sheen to it, but it's not too wet. So, now here's the tricky part with uh, omelets. I'm gonna grab our, uh, our spatula. I'm gonna kind of remove any little excess pieces that are drying mm. gross. Nobody likes those. And then you run your and your spatula underneath. Chef Jason, look. I just made one for myself. What do you think? That's uh it's real good. It's real uh real nice. Is it is it time to ring you up now? Uh yeah, yeah. Um Liam's got my wallet. See you later. Uh, okay, but bye. Thanks for coming in. Liam, that's going to be $5.97, please. No money? No, no. I, I guess you'll have to mop. Okay, Liam, you can fill it up right here. Start over in that corner, please. 